What is aperture? In photography, aperture refers to the opening inside the lens through which light can pass from the outside environment to the image sensor. A lens's aperture usually consists of an entrance pupil, which is the physical hole through which light passes through, and a set of diaphragm blades, which can be adjusted to control the size of the pupil. A photographer can adjust the size of the aperture either on the lens itself manually or through the camera's electronics. A smaller aperture means less light is transmitted through the lens, while a larger aperture will let in more light. This also means that aperture controls how much light the sensor receives and thus the exposure of your image, with smaller apertures decreasing exposure and larger apertures increasing exposure. The aperture of a lens is expressed as a focal ratio, which is produced by dividing the lens's focal length by the physical diameter of the entrance pupil. What is left is what is known as an F number or F stop. Smaller numbers correspond with larger apertures, while larger numbers correspond with smaller apertures. This relationship between F number and aperture size is important to remember, since it can seem a bit counterintuitive at first. Besides controlling exposure, aperture also controls depth of field. Depth of field describes how much of an image is in focus. A shallow depth of field means the plane of focus is small, while a deep depth of field means the plane of focus is large. Decreasing the size of the aperture increases depth of field and vice versa. Let's briefly cover some terminology related to aperture. A bright lens, or a bright aperture, just refers to a large aperture, say anything bigger than f2.8. Stopping down refers to reducing the size of the aperture. Finally, shooting wide open means using the largest aperture your lens allows. Quickly recapping, aperture controls how much light passes through the lens and into the camera. Wider apertures let in more light and increase exposure, while decreasing depth of field. The opposite is true for smaller apertures. Apertures are measured in F numbers or F stops, with smaller numbers representing larger apertures and larger numbers representing smaller apertures. With that, thank you for watching this two minute explanation of aperture. Subscribe to App Labs for more educational photography content and feel free to rate the video and leave your feedback below. Thanks.